Hey everybody, it's your old pal John. Hope you're doing well. I had a request to do the, what was it? The 10 funniest UK ads of the 70s. Okay, I had done one of these before and it was like of the 90s. So I'm interested to see what you guys have for the 70s. Uh, all right. Get in the hang of it. Mind the banisters, son. Oh, I can't hold it, Dad. No worry, son. I shifted more pianos than you've had up dinners. Cree, cree, <laughs> Mr. Shifter. Like refreshment. Oh, thank you most kindly, madam. Oh, One way of shifting it. When a good cup of tea really counts, you're right to drink Brookbond PG tips. It's the tea you can really taste. Died? Do you know the piano's on my foot? You I'm in some, I'll play it. All right, I'm just going to say for that first one, I, just right off the bat, I get the vibe of like Monty Python or The Young Ones, that kind of thing. Stuff I used to watch when I was a kid. Um, there's definitely, there's a, there's a difference between American commercials of the seventies and, uh, uh, you know, and other countries commercials, but I get that vibe from it. Uh, oh, and Monty Python too. That was, that's another one. I get a James Bond vibe from this one. And I haven't seen these before, by the way. Is that a joint? This is like the worst spy ever. Cigarette commercial, good. Small cigars from Benson and Hedges. Okay. I wonder if there's. I wonder if Benson and Hedges are uh, still around. Uh, any smokers in the audience that you would know? Um, when I was younger, I worked at a gas station. Like when I was, you know, um, I don't know first got my driver's license. It was my first job, really. And I remember selling Bench, Benson and Hedges, and they were sort of, I don't know, they were sort of a, a classier, people who wanted to be classier smoked Benson and Hedges. They had like a brown packaging. Coffee, please. Here you are. Thank you. My goodness, it's very strong. Give it here, I'll bang it under the tap. Well, that's no good. You'll just make it weak and wishy-washy. I think coffee should be mild, but not weak. It should have flavor, but not be too powerful or bitter. All one asks... I know what you're asking for. What? Fine blend instant coffee. I say, do you have fine blend here in this cafe? No. Shall I bang it under the tap? If you like mild coffee, but don't like weak coffee, try new fine blend. So just a thing, I, I had Nescafe when I was in uh, South America, because that's the kind of coffee they had there. Um, Americans are, the way Americans feel about coffee is the way uh, the British feel about tea. Um, like we, we consider like instant coffee like that. Uh, coffee drinkers wouldn't really go for that. But I can see, I understand that it's more popular in other countries. Um, but my reaction is just that's 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 hilarious because I would never do that because I'm a snob when it comes to coffee. On your last trip, did you discover what the Earth people eat? They eat a great many of these. They peel them with their metal knives. Boil them for twenty of their minutes. <laughs> Then they smash them all to bits. <laughs> they are clearly a most primitive people. <laughs> or mash, get smash. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Okay, so there are mashed potatoes and there are smashed potatoes. Um, some people do call them smashed potatoes. They're they're slightly different, but yeah, uh, I do like mashed potatoes. They're very good. Um, that's a good commercial. I like that. Well, yeah, good job marketing. Oh, 
your last day at the Zermatt School for Young Ladies, and your final and most important lesson, how to spend Daddy's lovely money. <laughs> Checkbooks open, girls. Pens at the ready. No, 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 Felicity. I couldn't possibly go shopping in Knightsbridge with one of those. A pen with style, a pen with elan, a Parker lady in white rolled gold. Knots just seem to roll from its tip. Signatures flow with a flourish. Now then, all together, girls. Yes, Celia? Madame, does one spell pence with an S or a C? I don't think you need worry about that, my dear. The Parker lady <laughs> in white rolled gold, <laughs> nine pounds ninety-five. I remember in those days, they used to, we used to, uh, um, there was a jewelry store that I worked at when I was very young, uh, just doing deliveries and stuff like that. And um, they would sell Mont Blanc pens and a bunch of, you know, other ones. So yeah, back in the 70s, buying a, an expensive pen was a thing. I mean, now anybody takes an eight pen and uh, that kind of thing. But I remember for a while having your name on a pen for a company was like a big deal you'd send it send away for it and you know, it'd be like two or three dollars and you know you give them to your good customers the jewelry store that i worked at did that um but uh okay yeah fair enough so we've got what cigarettes and pens things that we generally don't see ads for anymore here's one for the we roman have empire a number of letters <laughs> mainly we imagine from non-beer drinkers who doubt that Heineken refreshes the part other beers cannot reach. So we have devised this simple test to prove the Heineken claim. All the men, as you can see, are totally exhausted after taking Caesar water skiing this morning. There is not a spark of refreshment in any of them. So we give those on the left the cold Heinekens. Okay. And those on the right a selection of other beers popular at the time. Then we strike up the band, and immediately the Heineken has the desired effect on the Lord, if not on the boat. Stop! Stop! We're going round in circles! Provided we believe conclusive evidence that Heineken truly refreshes the parts other beers cannot reach. Ah, yes. Heineken. I was a big fan of Heineken when I used to drink, uh, you know, back in the days. Uh, now I'll occasionally have a Heineken Zero. I think they're pretty good. They they keep that beer taste without, you know, all the stuff that comes with it when you get older. But uh, and it's very, it's light beer. You know how us Americans are. It's basically what do you guys call it? like piss water. Um, but yeah, definitely a great beer. Um, gosh, I've had so many parties where we did nothing but buy a Heineken and Guinness. Um, Yep, it's still around. Great. Interesting about the staying power for these these commercials. Well, maybe I'll do some more of these Dry. if you like these. What a beautiful sight. Did it all. Makes you feel proud to be a Yorkshireman. Ah, uh, you don't find much like it outside Yorkshire. No, a lot of it's just flat and boring. Not up here, though. I could sit here and drink it in all day. Uh, couldn't you just? Come on, then. Let's get on. John Smith's bitter. Yorkshiremen love it because Yorkshiremen brew it. Okay. I don't know if they're around anymore. Uh, if they are, they're very local. Um, I don't know if that was all that funny, though, except, you know, he went one, one, one way, the other guys went for the beer. Our last try came together. Had to end sometime soon. Oh, Trevor. Mm. Let me take this to remind me. Well, no need. You can get dry cane at home, you know. But you've touched it, Trevor. Yes. And that's very precious to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, but I touched the, um, the ashtray. Take that, Susan. Oh, it's not the same. Yes, but I... Oh, Trevor. It's my last bottle. Susan. <laughs> you cried on the dry cane. <laughs> Let me hear it. Next to my pillow. Oh, Trevor. I understand. Try Cain. <laughs> Life would be unbearable without it. 
All right, cheesy, but okay. I don't know. Is it is it still around? Drakeane? Is that what it was? Drakeane? Oh, anyway, let me know. I'm Melissa. Uh, Mr. Yakitori and his aide. Yoko so. <laughs> All right, 1970s when the Japanese were beginning to uh, ramp up things. Uh, yeah, there were there were always Japanese businessmen coming over to at least the United States. I'm sure to Great Britain as well. No, no, sweetie, Japanese. Pay this right. There's a scooter each. Oh, we just ordered our traditional drink, Shizano Bianco. Oh, a fusion of superb Italian wines and aromatic herbs. One of our most refined European customs. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> is it still around? Uh, and is it any good? <laughs> it's very odd. I don't even know your name, but after this one Campari and soda, I feel I almost know you. May I freshen your glass? Uh, soda, of course. No, lemonade. Campari and Lemonade. Yeah, nice color, isn't it? Campari, with soda, mm. with lemonade, with tonic, but always with pleasure. Were you truly wafted here from paradise? No, look near, Paul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, that one wasn't that funny, but... Uh, what do you guys think? What was your favorite commercial? And do you remember any of these? That's, that's I guess, the big question. Um, all right, let me know in the comments. I'll talk to you guys later.